Hello everybody, it's Dr. Zeno with 15 Minute Fuel, where just in 15 minutes a day, we're going to fuel your mind, your body, and your future. Alright, as always, we start with our announcements. Episode 35 came out yesterday, and thank you so much for um, all the great comments and the shares you've done. I'll start with uh, kind of uh, one of the sections in there that so many of you guys really enjoyed, and I'll explain the reason behind that. Um, thank you guys so much for joining us on all our social media and going to the IamHero.com. That's where you get your free, a free $300 product that I did on One Month to Win. It's a whole video series, a video program just for you on how to win. It costs nothing. All you have to do is go there, IamHero.com, and apply it. And don't worry, it's not going to be an overwhelming program because I never like the feeling of that. Remember, winning is a habit. So it's a very, it's a two to three minute video each day with one thing to do, one thing to start shifting, and that one little thing equals a win. And the more wins over and over over time, then the habit is winning. So make sure you watch that. All right, uh, make sure you say hello, where you're from, and also let me know any questions or comments. If you're not watching this live, still do your comments, and guess what? I will always answer them. So today, we're going to talk about, if you saw the title, it's called Favor. F-A-B-O-R, Faber Capital. A couple sessions or weeks ago, we talked about relationship capital. Relationship capital means that one of the greatest capital is masterminding with other high-level thinkers or people in your life. The relationships in your life, that is such, it, it, it is amazing capital because each person helps each other get to where they want to go. It's that whole Zig Ziglar quote, right? Help is, you know, help. The more people you help reach their goals and dreams, then the more people will be able to help you. Or if you want to get what you want, you help others get what, what they want. Paraphrasing. But this is where relationship capital comes into play. So now let's talk about favor capital. Favor capital is really the intention of your heart when you go into a relationship. This could be any type of this could be any relationship, and I'll even talk about just even business relationships. It's all there. Now the intention and the heart of favor capital is this. Because I had some comments yesterday, we talk about, well, how about if I don't have the resources or the funds to join mastermind groups and do all these things, how can I still get these thought leaders in my life? Well, you have your time, right? You have your time, your skills, and the value of who you are, and that is an asset. And investing that into others, you know, is where you're going to get this favor capital. So favor capital is the concept where when you go into a relationship, the goal is this, I want to give so much more value to that person that even if I did ask for something later on or I asked for a favor later, it still would never be as high as the value I'm giving. I'll say that again. So let's say it's a business, you know, you meet, you know, you know this week and I met certain other business leaders or, or, or thought leaders and they were excellent in their levels and they were excellent in areas that were my weaknesses, right? So, you know, this is someone I meet. They're excellent in an area that I'm weak in, or it's foggy, I need their help. So instead of saying, what can you do for me, I go in and authentically say, hey, listen, because you know, I don't have this huge email list to help them get higher. You know, I don't, but I do know I have video, I know I have speaking, I have the, the resources I do have, and I say, listen, I might not have all this leverage, but I know what I do have. Is there any way I can help you? What are you trying to accomplish or do? And then I will do whatever I can with my resources, time, video, talent, to then help them further their mission and their journey. You follow what I'm saying? So it's all about give, give, give. And I want to give as much as possible and then outgive. I want to be an outgiver. And that creates favor capital. So if it's done with the right intention, and it's a long game approach. For instance, you know, doing this hero journey where, you know, this is speaking at different stages, I don't expect anybody to come to me and say, hey, we want to pay you to come on our stage and because I really don't have the momentum. I have the momentum with us, but, you know, I, who do they know? You know, they don't know. And so I have to, I have to do favor capital. So favor capital would be, dear so-and-so, um, I'll go speak on your stage and they'll give me a keynote fee, or maybe they don't. Doesn't matter, right? It's the long game. I go, so guess what? Because most speakers, what? They're, they go in, they do a keynote, and they leave, or they're very tough to deal with, and they have demands, so I want to turn it around. So I'm like, listen, I'll go speak for you guys. 
I'd love to do it because it'll help support you, number one. Then what I do differently is like, can I have a survey of your audience to see the top two or three issues they're really dealing with? So my talk could actually, you know, speak to them. I ask them, what is your sell? At the end, what are they trying to sell? I'll help position the audience to think about that and, and, and be more apt to do that. And then I'll build a program to them. So if you guys have been on IamHero.com, you see I have that one month to win, right? Perfect example. So what I would do is I would do another 20 videos on time management or 20 videos on building value in oneself and in life. And then I would just do the same thing. Do the videos, transcribe, pay to transcribe them, pay to make them in an ebook, pay to put this quick funnel together. And I would offer that to the audience as a free gift. So I would speak, offer the audience an entire free gift that directly, what, solves one of the problems they're having. So it's very customized. And then, and then go from there. So it's coming from the giving as much value as possible. And then they ask, well, that's great. That's amazing. I can't believe it. What can we do for you? And I say, you know what? I'll let you know. Because favor, man favor capital means if I could give my time and my resources because I don't have what could really, I could really help somebody in the industry if I had like a million emails, right? So I could then, I have leverage. But when you don't have leverage, or in this case, if it's a relationship of any kind and you don't have the resources, you do have your time and your talents. So you give up your time and your talents and you overgive. So, so in the long game, in a year or two from now, when I have a book or when I have something, I don't even know, we'll see what that turns into, then I could say, hey, so-and-so, I really, uh, you know, I have this program, I have this dream, this vision, what's your thoughts on it? And then they would be more than happy to then leverage all their resources to help you because you took the time with the right heart and intention. So I'm not doing this, I'm not giving to just say, hey, if I give, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give more than they expected, and I wanna give so much more that later on down the road, if I do need a favor, maybe I won't, that I know whatever favor I ask, will be a lot less than the value I already gave them. So this is called favor capital. This could be done with your friends. This could be done with your spouse. This could be done at work. This could be done in business. Always try to provide more value than is asked from you. Just like if you get paid for a certain job, do more work or, or do more value than the job pays you for. So you're not wasting time and you're not giving things away. So when I give you the I Am Hero program, I don't see that as giving something away, even though it doesn't cost you anything. I am investing in you. It's called favor capital. That's my favor capital. Because down the road, one, two, three years, you know, you guys will show your favor by supporting something or, you know, whatever that looks like down the road. You'll be more than happy because you say, hey, listen, Dr. Z gave us all these videos and all these things, and you know what? The, I could, you know what? The least I could do is share, or the least I could do is tell my friend about a book or something. You know, a $14 book that I may make, you know, down the road. So you see what I mean? So always give with with the intention to give and make that person rise. And in time, when you help enough people rise up to reach their dreams and gifts, then when it's your time and you're ready to make your move. You'll, you'll turn around and everybody will be there to help you lift you over and take you where you want to need to be and they'll be more than happy to do it. So favor management or favor capital rather, maybe favor management is something else, but favor capital is something that there's no entitlement, all right? Living in an age of entitlement, no one understands favor capital because entitlement would be, hey, I did this for you and I expect you to do this for me. Whoa, hold on. You know, when you give, you should give with nothing, no expect expectations of giving in return. In fact, when you give, the reward that you should be accepting is the reward of giving out of your abundance, your gifts and talents, and the reward of seeing that person you helped improve in their life. That's the reward. And so if something does come about it, even better. So this is where you cannot have an entitlement personality or attitude, because if you do, then you get in trouble, because then people could sense it. I know a lot, of, plenty of you know, when someone is asking you or doing something for you, just so you could, they could get something from you. We've all felt that, right? If I told you, how'd you know, how come it felt weird? You're not gonna be able to tell me, you'd just be like, it just felt off, because you knew 
They were doing something to get something back. And there's nothing wrong with that as long as that's expect that expectation. But don't act like you're giving something, wink, wink, to get something bigger or better back. Go in, say, listen, and this is my terminology. You can see when you guys ask questions, it's very simple to say, thank you so much. Hey, listen, is there any, listen, I appreciate what you do. Is there anything I could do to provide value to your life or to your journey or where you're going? What are you into? What are you doing? Is there any way you could see me provide value to that? And let them answer. And they say, well, I really don't know right now. I'll be like, well, what do you, you know, and then delve deeper. Listen, is there anything I can help with? And you know what? Just the fact that you really care, that person's going to appreciate. And in time, just pushing your favor and just giving, giving your gifts and your talents and helping somebody, in time, you're actually building a bank account of favor capital. And that favor might come back in a different way. For instance, let's say this person that you helped out in any way, shape, or form, business, relationships, anything, you helped them out. And then let's say you, know, you have a situation in your life and they're like, hey, you know what? I need you to introduce you to so-and-so. I think they could really help you. And there, just the introduction becomes the breakthrough of the unknown. So I guess what I'm saying, when you give out of your abundance and you give for the sake of giving to help people elevate their life or help people or, or give fuel to people to expand their purpose and reach their gifts and talents in a higher, more elevated way, it creates, it actually sets up the stage for the beautiful unknowns the favor capital. So favor capital becomes the beautiful unknown that when you do hit the bump in the road, you'll turn around and you'll see a group of people there saying, hey, listen, three years ago when you helped me, I never forgot that. What can I do for you? And then accept and embrace the gift of someone wanting to help you. So favor capital, it's one, you know what? I kind of made the term up. You could use it all you want. You know, you had relationship capital and relationship capital then enters into favor capital. Giving so much more than you ever would think back. So when I give to you guys, I want to give so much for the purpose of that I would never ask for what I have given. You always want to give more than you could ever ask back from somebody. So you always keep the favor to them higher than the favor you would ever ask. And you will, you'll, you'll never feel guilty. You'll feel okay about it. And then you'll have enough confidence and that person will know your heart was true. You help them out. And in the moment of time, whenever that is, you'll be surprised on how many people will be there to help you get to where you want to be. So I hope you enjoyed this 15-minute fuel, which is in 15 minutes just about. We're able to fuel your mind, your body, and your future. Make sure you go to IamHero.com and make sure you get the One Month to Live course. It's a one-month course, video course downloadables. It's 100% free. It's always going to be free. So start using that. That gets you in the habit of winning. I want to get you used to winning. Also, make sure you check out the store and get some cool swag. Uh, we had some good orders. Pete Strong by Dr. Pete got some of my shirts today, extra larges to fit that big old physique of his. And it's really cool. I think it's awesome. And we kind of just show your hero. And plus, it's a reminder that you are the hero. And thank you so much for being and sharing, sharing this video to somebody else who's, who, who, if you're in a, and here, you know what? During my toughest times, remember I told you that one time I lost $250,000, you know that one? What did I do when I was depressed? I sat at the kitchen table and I said this, what can I do? That money's gone. So I, I can't get it back. So what can I do to add value to other people? Like, so I went from being depressed and in the dumps to saying, listen, I got to start. I got to start moving. That money's gone. So let me do the opposite. What can, what can I do to add value to other people's lives? And because of that, losing that chunk from ridiculous decisions, it set me on a journey of that favor capital and relationship capital. And I never turned back. So don't, please don't have to go through a rocking time that I had to go through to learn. Hey, listen, let me just provide value to people's lives. And as long as I do that, Everything will be taken care for. So have a blessed day. We will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be Friday, and it's Family Friday. We'll have the return of Whitney Zano. Uh, I'm sorry, Whitney has not been <laughs> on the last couple times because even though my wife always looks beautiful all the time, when we're traveling and she's frustrated with the kids, uh, she, she just it's never the right time to do a, a 15 minute fuel and she likes to prepare a little bit she you know so uh, she'll be on tomorrow so any questions or stuff you have for Whitney and I please uh, direct message us and we'll be able to answer those questions for you guys tomorrow have a blessed day and we'll see you tomorrow with 15 minute fuel we're in 15 minutes a day we'll feed your mind your body
Say it with me. End your future. God.